Greetings, everyone. Hello and welcome back to N800 once more. Glad you're still sticking around and enjoy the content. We continue onwards right away with some city building in Panagos. Over here, of course, in the last episode, we moved some industry away. And it's a very nice location to just continue with some basic uh, city building, some basic um, district uh, expansion that we're doing here. Uh, first of all, I would like to get rid of... Now, ah, well, we can actually keep this road there. But I think if I want to add two buildings in that, we need to get rid of this road here. So at least one of them needs to go. We might actually just also move that warehouse all together a bit further away. Uh, so that it still gets the, the resources from that iron mine. That's pretty important. But that's it. Speaking about the iron mine, now that I'm in the area here, we have, of course, a very huge demand for iron. Um, I think the majority of that is coming in very comfortably from the Docklands at this point, right? So I can also quickly check this out. We are at 3,000 iron there at the moment. The bias is coming back in 18 minutes. We consume a, well, a total of 1,400 for the cycle that it exists. So we have way too much iron anyway, right? more than we actually need so what i can do here is in order to make my work is a bit happier let's reduce the workload on coal and iron there to further increase their happiness and with that hooray a few happy workers that certainly does not hurt at all we also want to continue here um this is a nice location for something small i don't know perhaps a smaller botanical garden perhaps a smaller museum we'll just see and we just have then more uh, buildings here i would definitely like to go ahead with some more fountain blocks like this one here the reason for that is look at how it looks once it's finished right it's just beautiful i love it fantastic really and this is how it should look then for the other uh for the other uh, fountain fountain blocks that we have right so we can have one of these bigger ones here and since this is going to be yeah there's probably going to be a landmark building here or something having some more beautiful fountains in the in the area actually well looks nice i think and then some smaller ones there too that are looking towards the the market area there just fine and then some smaller um, buildings in the back and then probably just a road to topple it off like this so we have a nice road where people can then also walk around something like that uh here i don't want to have anything and here we can just have the happily more houses we should probably at some point also just add something like a church at some point right i haven't built a church in a long time since the chapel is usually doing the trick but churches, of course, also just look nice. So let's get these workers here a bit further away, perhaps, and just add us a nice little church in here. We do have different skins of that. Uh, let's just go with one of the more standard versions, I think, like this one. And let's just place it over here, right in the center. Also, this road here in the morning light looks just fabulous. And we, of course, always need to continue there with the road expansion let's just get rid of all the dirt roads here as well in the new districts there's no reason anymore plus we have plenty of bricks to, yeah, to just upgrade everything farmers are coming along we have a uh, fuzz on farmers again this is always nice of course and let's just keep this one here the same style more or less right and here uh, there's probably going to be oh there is first of all some ornaments and then we probably can do it like that here we can have something Alright, the Land of the Lions expedition is now on its way officially and will hopefully bring us some juicy rewards. We continue with some more expansion. So probably having some more farmers than here. Another smaller block that we can have. And probably here as well. And then we can have something bigger in the background. More perfect. Ah, I just love how the Mountain Shadows is coming in. Beautiful. Here, of course, we're going to have something special then again, as always, really, um, later on. Here we can now also have some more farmers then as well. Another block like this. And yeah, from rendering works and slaughterhouses, all of a sudden to a normal resident area, right? You can already add some smaller fountains then. Just for the heck of it, I would also like to, yeah, add some nice park area now. So this area was kind of like determined as a park, right? We should probably start with some nice fountains or some attractions in the center. 
perhaps a children's playground together with uh, some market stalls for pizza, uh, drinks and sandwiches. So a little area where the, the parents can actually just enjoy their day. And also perhaps a market hall that we have that over here. On the other side, perhaps a bigger fountain. Hmm, with fountains as always, it's a bit tricky to find the middle spot as it's actually impossible to find it with the, with the big city fountain. So I can't use it, unfortunately. But the beautiful Eden tree is something that we can have in this area. Totally right. And then probably still a fountain of some smaller sizes in front of it or on the sides of it. Two of them might also work here. Ah, to hell with symmetry. We don't always need that. I think this is just looking much better. So overall, some children playgrounds, a little market place area where people can enjoy some food. And then a park with perhaps a duck pond. Yeah, a duck pond in here for some quietness in all the bustling city life. That's a nice little park that we have right there in the center of it. And around it, well, we have some riots. We can also now continue with some upgrades as we have 1,300 farmers, especially those guys here that we just built, right? So... A lot of them are already sick again, but some of them we can also just upgrade, and that's the nice thing. What about these guys here? There's the marketplace missing, I think, this one here. So we probably should have one a bit closer for them, just so they can actually upgrade and then we get rid of it again. Over here we got some workers. Uh, that's probably the school problem then that we have here. Yep, there's a school missing. School, but not for all of them, right? Just for some of them. But I might just be able to move one of these stations here to add me another school then in here. Because we definitely do want to have not workers in this area. There you go. Perfect. In all its glory. Uh, the expedition continues. We have a new step. I'm not going to go through the events this time anymore. It's just been in the last episode, in the last let's play once more. And we can actually use the white flag on these here. It's rather easy, right? There is, there's nothing really we need to... to consider here as this expedition is a guaranteed success. Now since I haven't really uh, lost any coastal buildings ever since the last attack, right, uh, we can get rid of the fish one here and instead of fish I would like to get hops in as my new trade. We can export a lot of bread for that which is what I would like. Let's actually go crazy on this with 500 hops and that means that we no longer need to have our hops plantations that we have all the way over here, right, and with that let's get rid of them entirely. This of course is pretty cool. It doesn't really save us that much workforce really, but it's the space of course, and that's the special thing. We can get rid of the warehouses here. Um, there's still some lumber production now that we have all the way up here, that some of it we might actually move, others we might just remove. Or move, sorry, and others we might just remove, right? So up here of course in my logging camp area, yeah, there's still one area available. And then we probably still have this one, perfect to get at least some of that in and then we can get rid of wait a second this we can actually keep and these guys here we can also move a bit further away from the city so it's all just a moving process here at some point there's still a, a very upgraded warehouse that i certainly don't want to remove here so let's just have it in this area for now and those i can get rid of police station it's always good to move them around a bit there's a warehouse we don't need and basically a lot of space that we have now in this area or all kinds of crazy things. Let's keep the, the lumberjacks up there for now. I don't need to move that far up there at the moment. We have the main road, right, that continues. Mm, not this way, though. I'm probably going to make it like so. This sounds good. Um, I could use it, of course, to get a train up there, too. But I think we're not going with a train that far up. Or, hmm... We should probably have a train here then. But there's the tracks already, so this will be easy to navigate the the trains over, right? Coming from my mountainous industry zone that we have up there. We can use this new area to also move uh, some of those workers that we have still in the center away a bit. Because we don't need them, all of them, in the center anymore. Even though this is not quite clean looking here, so I probably will just move them somewhere else.
much better. And we could probably have a bigger fountain than in the center here for this block. Also, let's clean up this area. It's looking a bit nasty at the moment. There's some mold houses here still that we have for the beer production. Those mold houses, hmm, they're smelly, right? Let's have them up there. We don't have that many of them. And oh, is there a bigger attack here? No, it's looking rather quiet. It's just some smaller skirmishes. Nothing we need to worry about at this point. And I would just like to really get them away a bit here into this more quiet zone of an industry zone that we have. The low-key industry, right? That should be fine. And with that, getting rid of even more. There's still the cattle. Now I need to quickly remind myself what I need the cattle for, the cattle beef. Do we actually still need the cattle beef for something? No, there's no consumption of it. So this was a mistake on my part that they still existed at all. And then we just get rid of all of the roads here. I love cleanups, right? Where previously you had some industry zones. All of a sudden you have a beautiful blank sheet of paper. You can just add stuff now. The low um, tier warehouses we can delete. There's also one more fire station. Let's have it at the police station. There's still this lumberjack hut that I will probably just move all the way up here to Crown Falls at the moment. And yeah, well, that's just a whole bunch of roads here. Uh, bear in mind, if I delete this road here, we are going to cut off the industry zone. So I quickly need to redo this all the way to that area. Right, so this is the, the connection that we have. In between it, we just have then some blocks of houses. Yeah, and basically, space for perhaps a museum, perhaps an amusement park, perhaps a zoo. Whatever we might add to this area then. In this area, um, let's have a like an industrial wall here. There used to be the hops plantations, right? And now we just have the industry zone coming in. And we just want to block it off a bit, just a tiny bit. We have the cliffs anyway, right, doing their job, but other than that, a wall to do it as well. This is happening quite frequently. I do not have a mod installed that speeds up the, the expedition events. There's also the sand right now that I no longer need to import with the Dockland since the sand mines are working as well. And I would like to um, do something else here. We can either import gold bars directly or gold ore. Um, it's tricky, right? The gold is way more expensive exchange rate wise. So we need nine bread for one gold bar. Um, if I go with the gold ore, it's only down to three to one. This sounds a bit better to me overall. And we just produce the gold bars on, on Panagos ourselves because in that we do need gold bars for the future buildings as well, for some modded buildings and also for my jewelry production. So let's go ahead and add the gold ore into the import trade the only thing is that i might need to change up here is some of those goods that we use for that so i could actually go ahead with the bread that we import for schnapps right and here we're going back with the sewing machines now so that i just keep there a, an equal ratio of things um if i want to to get in 700 that's a bit much let's say 400 gold next time this should be fine um there's a bit of clay here um for sales we could start using elevators on that, right? So elevator production is up and running. Look at that ratio. 1 to 47 it is. Really, I just need some 400 or so. So this is really laughable. It's actually not worth it at all using this. So I might use my elevators for something else, right? But this is all looking rather nice at the moment. We have way too many sewing machines anyway. So I just rather keep it with that. But elevator, that's going to be a nice boomer. A nice new boomer export product for me. All right, we got 1,500 farmers. I don't want the farmer population to get too big, too crazy there because it is consuming stuff that I'm not producing in high quantities anymore, right? So whenever we have a lot of farmers, we quickly need to go ahead and upgrade them. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Miss Hunt has now settled all the systems up here, all the, the islands, right? The Admiral still has one more island close to him. Princess Ching is really falling behind there, so I don't know. She's rather passive at the moment. Doesn't really care about much. There's a lot of workers now that we can upgrade. Oh, yes. I would like to do this. And then, of course, more farmers. We have so much timber. Always nice to do this. And also here. So the closer we get to the city core, as always, right, the better the buildings should be. 
and that's why I prioritize uh, these buildings first. Lots of workers with that, so we can then continue upgrading people in here. Police-wise, we do have a bit of a problem there right now, so I might actually look for some nice uh, police buildings. We might look at a police headquarter, which would be then my first skyscraper building. The cool thing about this is the range is huge, right? And it has a lot of police uh, people in it, right? So lots of police forces. Hmm. There is a, a school in here that I probably don't need anymore. Hmm. There's also a town hall. There's the theater. Oh, come on. This is happening often, this event there right now. We just go with a normal police station there for the moment. I need them because we really do have a lot of rides. Okay, meanwhile, I need to upgrade a few more engineers. The reason for that is uh, I do need to get a bit more influence in. That's at 34 we are sitting right now. I'm probably also going to have these guys upgraded here at the library. Very good. Leading to 60. So just a few houses really upgrading them boosts us that much. It's always fantastic, really. And almost nine, uh, almost 100 again. What is this? We sent the silver office a peace treaty. All right. We have the mod installed that should actually not do this. I mean, we have the mod installed that actually gives them an alliance with each other, right? So they should still be at alliance each other. They are very good. But he's offering me a peace treaty because basically I think we are having reached a certain stage with him. So as we can see, we're a bit weaker military-wise, but economically-wise, we are much stronger. Um, and that's his way of telling us, well, I respect you, bro. <laughs> but we're still not going ahead here with with the the peace treaty that is let's have these guys here upgraded too i need to watch out my resources though um and here in the in the city center itself we can also go ahead and have a few more people upgraded very good this leads me to enough influence and we're going to need that here for something uh there in the in this small industry zone that we have i would like to go ahead with another um trade union we need to be uh, we need to switch things around here again a bit, just a tiny bit. So I guess we can make it like so, so that I can then have a trade union in here that is going to affect all the window makers. This is the important part um, that we can have. That's another 20 influence for that. Oh, and we get the capital of industry bonus with that. Thank you very much. And yeah, let's just have this one here. And I think that one up there oh yeah negative 10 percent maintenance for all my production leading to 140 thousand on the balance there right now i love i love money i love a good income right that's that's the important thing uh, let's move this a bit further down so we actually can make this connection here complete again and with that we have an item here that i would like to figure out if it's good so right now the master craftsman morris would produce us pearls every fourth ton of window that we produce we produce 12. That means we should get a 3 ton production of pearls out um, that we can use for the jewelry production, which is sitting at 3 tons consumption per minute. However, I think it's not going to be quite equal like that, as a jewelry is actually consuming 2 um, tons of pearls per minute, right? And I would still like to go ahead here with the jewelry, of course, and the goldsmith. So this is not going to be my the best source of that except I'm boosting my window production, right? The more windows we produce, the more pearls I'm going to get out of this mess here. Um, this is probably leading to not quite the pearls, but right? It's a three tons, very good. We did not get this one here into its radius, so this is still something that I would like to do. Uh, we have way too many warehouses here anyway. Let's move this one up there. This should be fine. With that, we have all the window makers in. However, of course, I want to get more window makers, right? So we want to, we really want to push this one. Um, getting all the pearls. The problem is I don't have pearl fertility in Manola. And of course we can always use, let's say, I think he has the end for that. No, I don't think we can do this. So it's really all about my trade union here doing the job. And I'm able to move things around again a bit. Uh, this is not possible. One more would be amazing. Here. Uh, instead of the police station, we probably could also do it. I would like to reach four at least. Uh, there we have uh, there we have it. Four on the production now for the windows, right? Um, of course, boosting those productions here with, let's say, for us, Al-Sarami could also lead to more pearls once more. Mm, I think that's it for now, though. Whatever we have 
would be fine there is also then the jewelry here instead of gold the building process is gold ore that's going to be nice gold's worth gilbert for my jewelry production all right so far so good this is now this is now starting to work let's upgrade one of these warehouses here still and with this one nah, they're looking good as is and with that, we have the gold, right? We have the poles now. And I can now start my jewelry production. We are going to do this somewhere else, though. I could do it here. Uh, I could also just boost them with electricity in the main area. But in the main area, it's already looking pretty tight. Um, and then we have this here as a potentially new industry zone that I would like to have as well. Let's go ahead and move the breweries because we already have a trade union built here for the bakeries, for the chocolate. Uh, let's get the breweries, the nasty ones, away there a bit. They're smelling, right? Breweries are smelly beasts and you don't want to have them clo too close to any kind of residences, really. Um, of course, you can have it and workers probably don't mind that much. They'll go ahead and have this eight battery brewery block right here with another warehouse then as well this gives me the opportunity of actually getting my jewelry production in here right so two of them would actually work already just fine having those three here this is not being affected so we'll need to have it a bit closer and they can then tip off with probably artisans here right so this would work then nicely together overall um we only need the, the goldsmith here now that i already have gilbert and he's now giving me gold ore then for the jewelry and also attractiveness. Isn't that nice? Yeah, we're getting a bit of attractiveness from these jewelers now. So let's actually make this block complete. Just that we have then four of them working, producing up to eight. Um, unboosted, that is, of course, what we can do. Very good. That's it. We get the gold. We have the pulse. And with that, we have the jewelry production up and running. That is going to be crazy for my investors, right? So jewelry is another happiness good. It's giving me plus two happiness... Um, for the investors and also 125 coin in addition not that we really need the money at this point with the money that we have we could go ahead and probably purchase us some shares here um annoying the ais we have 140 influence that so could just go ahead yep and purchase some of those shares princess jing there especially she's rather weak right boosting us to 150k there right now and also what i would like to do is having a look at the <laughs> aircraft carrier there it is. And it actually has planes on board. I really wonder what it does. There it is. The Kamikaze Stuker. And a German aircraft that were used for close ground support and dive bombing purposes. So whether within the Stuker Geschwader or within other units of the Luftwaffe. Mm, damage. Alright, this is an item we can use. Right? And once we use it, it's bringing havoc down to the enemy. We got... An aircraft carrier. Who would have thought about that? Pretty cool stuff. Absolutely loving these new ships, right? So we have this. I could go with the Yamato class again, right? Remember this extremely powerful ship that we have available there. It does cost me quite a lot of uh, steel beams though and advanced weapons. So I would like to wait on that a bit before I commission that next big um, ship. I love it. Can't wait to see these in action, right? So we already got three of those big boys now out. And we continue onwards here with new productions in the next episode. Stay tuned.